Hi, I'm Noah Tarno, founder and senior quiz master of The Big Quiz Thing, the trivia game show spectacular. And you know, we've been America's premier provider of corporate and private trivia events for going on 20 years. But these days, it's all about the virtual. Let me show you how it works. Shortly before your event, you're gonna be forwarded a version of this, our customized virtual trivia instructions. Now this is a simple document. You'll be giving this to all of your players, all of your guests. It explains to them how the game works. It gives them the link to the game in Zoom. Yes, we use Zoom because it works. And all about our custom digital trivia answer system. More on that in a minute. And we also give you suggestions for how teams can confer among themselves during the event. A thousand and one simple ways to do that. When the time comes, teams log on to that Zoom link and they are greeted by your company's logo. Every big quiz thing event is customized for your event and your event only. And yes, they are greeted by their personal quiz master. The big quiz thing has the finest quiz master teams in the trivia business. Not just a guy reading trivia questions, an event professional expertly trained in game show production. And then as we wait for stragglers to arrive, we run a quick loop of warm-up trivia questions. Just a little something to get the brain moving, get people excited, a little preview of what is to come. Then we make sure all team captains are logged into that digital trivia answer system. Very simple. If you can text, you can use it. Here's an example of what it looks like. One member of each team, just one, needs to go to a website and input their answers. So easy, so simple. And then the game begins. Welcome to the big quiz thing. This little video runs for about a minute. It's our intro video. We like to treat the big quiz thing like a TV game show. It's not just another pub quiz. So we introduce it like a TV game show. And then we launch right into round one. Round one consists of a series of questions. For example, lots of people live in China. Lots of people live in India. But what's the most populous country that isn't in Asia? And of course, at this point, teams are conferring among themselves, coming up with their best guess in an answer, and the team captain is texting it out via our digital trivia answer system. Then we take a moment to advise people not to cheat, that every big quiz thing event, if you put down a wrong but funny answer, the quiz master will later share it with the crowd, and if it gets a positive reaction from the audience, we will count it as a correct answer. If you can't be smart, you can earn a smart ass point. If you want to keep things G-rated, we don't have to say smart ass point. We could just say wrong, but funny. Then we continue with more verbal questions. For example, what game has a six letter name in the US, Canada, and Australia, but an eight letter name in most other English speaking countries? Now this is the type of question we describe as figure outable. Figure outable. That's right, figure outable questions are our favorites because instead of you know it or you don't know it, they encourage a lateral thinking and more importantly, collaborative trivia answering process. Perfect for team building events. And then we get to the centerpiece of our first and second round. One par, two par, three par, four par question. Our four part question is where our multimedia games come into play. Original, unique trivia puzzles created by our crack team of trivia writing experts. Double your cinema pleasure, three degrees of music, cartoons minus cartoon characters, and many more. A higher quality of trivia event demands a higher quality of trivia content. And then we continue with more verbal questions. For example, we might ask a customized trivia question. Yes, at your request, your event can include custom trivia questions written by that same crack team of trivia writing experts. Here's an example for an event we did from the pharma giant Pfizer. We take the possibly not so interesting information from your company, from your office, and we craft it into fun, entertaining, and often figure outable trivia queries uniquely just for your event. Then round one will culminate with a two point question. Two point question. Just a bit more challenging and worth double the points. And that would end round one. 
we segue out of round one, but we don't take a break at this point. We want to keep the action moving. So as soon as team captains have submitted their answers, we come right back with round two, although we do take a moment to reveal the prizes. Yes, some events have prizes. That's up to you. Whatever you want to provide, we can incorporate into the game. And yes, we can advise you on that as well, although we find that honor and glory are the greatest prizes of all. Then we reveal the answers to round one, and that launches us right into round two. Usually a series of questions, much like round one, different of course, still some multimedia questions, still some customized questions at your request. You get the idea. Then we take a little break. It's a great opportunity for people to turn their mics back on, talk among themselves, go refill their drinks, wash their hands, what have you, as music plays in the background. Then we return, we recap the scores thus far, and that takes us to our lightning round. More questions on the way, verbal questions primarily. We ask them, but now the clock is ticking. After the quiz master asks a question, they will wait only 10 to 15 seconds before moving along to the next question. After all the questions have been asked, we don't repeat anything. Instead, we count down one minute on your screen. Teams must submit by the time the clock reaches zero. And yes, some of these questions are figure outable. Yes, they're figure outable. And by the way, folks, yes, smart ass points still apply. So the minute countdown runs. Teams have submitted their answers. We take one more super quick break to catch up on the scores. And then we come right back with our final answers, our final scores, and then the buzzer-tastic finale. What happens now is we announce the final scores and we spotlight the top three teams. We turn off everyone's video except the captains of the top three highest scoring squads. Those captains, along with the quiz master, are on camera and on microphone. And it's a one-on-one-on-one -on -one -on -one game show style showdown to see who is the ultimate master of useless knowledge. After one team captain has answered two correct answers, we declare their team the winners of their edition of the virtual big quiz thing. So if you want to know more, get in touch with us today at bigquizthing.com. Email us for a personal consultation. And let's get started making all your virtual trivia dreams come true. Visit us at bigquizthing.com and remember, trivial times demand trivial trivia.